Hi everyone, as you know the newest version of ANSYS which is ANSYS 2023 R1 has been released recently and today I'm going to show you how to download and install the student version of it. It is really easy, you just have to search in Google uh, ANSYS student and then uh, you have to click on the first link that appears. In here we have several tabs. For example, uh, ANSYS Student, ANSYS Elastina, ANSYS Electronics. Uh, we have to click on ANSYS Student. I will put the link of this page on the description part below this video, so you can easily come to this web page. Okay, in here, as you can see, we have a big yellow button which says download ANSYS student 2023 you should know that uh, you need at least 12 gigabytes of empty space to download this version of ANSYS 12 gigabytes to extract the downloaded file and about 50 gigabytes of empty space to install it uh, also the license will be valid until next year okay now if we click on it we can start downloading this version of ANSYS uh, meanwhile let's see uh, what other information we can get from this page uh, in here we have several tabs uh, such as installation steps system requirements and some others which I will explain first let's click on installation steps in here uh, we can click on the platform support documents if we click on it, uh, we can see a PDF file with lots of useful information about uh, ANSYS uh, platform support. There are actually two useful PDF files, uh, which I will put the links in the description part. The important thing that we should know is that ANSYS 2019 and ANSYS 2020 uh, can be used on both Windows 7 and Windows 10. Uh, but ANSYS 2021 and ANSYS 2022 and ANSYS 2023 uh, can be installed only on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Also we can see in here the installation steps uh, which I will explain later. The next tab is system and browser requirements. You can see uh, we need Windows 10 or 11 it says that we need at least 4 GB of RAM and 25 GB of hard drive but it's not accurate we need at least a new generation Cry 5 CPU or Cry 7 CPU 8 GB of RAM and 50 GB of hard drive for making a really simple simulation and as you know because uh, this version is a student version we have some uh, limitations for structural physics we can only use uh, 128,000 nodes or elements and for f uh, fluid physics we can only use around uh, 500,000 cells or not. Also I should mention that we can only use uh, 4 cores of CPU and not more. The license duration of this version of ANSYS is about 12 months the features and the softwares that are included in this student version are ANSYS Workbench, ANSYS Mechanical, uh, ANSYS CFX, ANSYS Fluent, um, Design Modeler, Space Claim, Mechanical APDL and almost everything that we need. Another interesting thing in this page is that uh, we can download some older versions of ANSYS. For example, in here we can download ANSYS Student 2022 R1 and R1 and R2. Also, you can uh, download some uh, other free student softwares. For example, ANSYS Elastina, ANSYS Electronics, and uh, ANSYS Discovery. Actually, ANSYS Discovery has, uh, has had some interesting updates. There are some videos about uh, the new features of ANSYS Discovery and ANSYS Mechanical in this channel, which you can watch later. Okay, it seems the ANSYS zip file has been downloaded. And now we have to right-click on this zip file and extract it on 
uh, this academic student folder okay then inside this folder we have to find the setup file uh, and right click on it then select uh, run as administrator in this window we have to select I agree and then we have to click on next in this window we have to select a directory that we want the program to be installed it can be any drive or any folder but it's better to be drive C after that we have to uncheck this box then we have to click on next uh, and the installation will start uh, based on your computer it may take around 10 or 20 minutes so you have to be patient okay good it's done now we have to click on exit i should mention that there won't be any shortcuts on your desktop you have to search in windows search bar uh, workbench 2023 then you have to click on this icon uh, it takes a little bit time to run the program for the first time just wait a little bit okay awesome good as you can see uh, everything has been installed perfectly and there isn't any problem if you saw a pop-up window in here uh, you should select no i wouldn't like to participate in, in any survey and click on ok there won't be any problem as you can see we have some updates on uh, UI of the software for example we have a new fluent launcher as I mentioned before in here you can only uh, select uh, around four CPU cores if you select five or more than that you will see an error there are some uh, videos in this channel uh, about the updates of 2023 version uh, which I will put the links in the description. That was it. Uh, thanks for watching and if there was any question or something you can ask in the comments. Thank you.